Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Jaden Eric Bodwin. Today we are going to talk about something different. Going into the world of slow motion. What kind of slow motion are we talking about? We're talking about a wing on a plane. Why? Because I was on a plane and I had my slow motion camera. And I started thinking, how does this look at all the different frame rates? And I've talked to a lot of people about what the differences are between 24, 30, 60, uh, and 120. But I also have 960. So I filmed this wing at 24, at 30, at 60, at 120, and at 960 frames a second. And we're gonna look at all of those and find out what the difference is. Because most people don't know. They know there's a feeling you get with 24 frames a second. It's that cinematic quality where things get blurred a little bit. As you move into 30 and 60, it gets more to like real life and all the actions and all the movements are very crisp. 120 is normally used for slow motion, so you can slow it down two times and then you're at 60 frames a second and you can get that super cool like throwing a baseball. It's like... <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Let's look at these this footage. Let's just start the recording. Okay, let's look at 24 frames a second first. As you can see, very blurry. It's very difficult to see any kind of definition whatsoever. Um, let's move on to the 30. So 30 is a little bit smoother. You can see some of the wing, the blackness of it, but it's faint. It's very faint. So when we go to 60, We'll really see a difference because now we can see okay there's actual propellers there's actual blades on this wing 120 is even more incredible here's 120 now 120 we can actually see some of the blades this is cool if you're an aviation nerd then this stuff is this stuff is hit 960 so this is gonna be wild that's so slow and what's interesting I find is that, to me at least, the previous ones, this one seems like the blade is going the opposite direction, really. Um, it's going clockwise, how you're looking at it. And some of the other ones, like if we look at 60, looks like it's going counterclockwise. So that's sort of an interesting thing. Um, what I want to do now is I'm going to play all of these side by side for you. I'm going to start by doing 24 frames a second on your left, 30 frames a second in the middle, and 60 frames a second on the right. And you can see the difference between all of those right now. It's, it's very apparent. Now, we're going to switch. I'm going to show you 30, 60, and 120. So we're just going to move everything up. So as you can see, 30 on the left, 60 in the middle, 120 on the right. And moving on, we're going to do 60 on the left, 120 in the middle, and 960 on the right. And of course, that's a little bit of a special situation. You wouldn't normally have 960 frames a second, but I can, so why not? If you can do it, do it. Okay, so that's it. This is a pretty quick little video. I didn't want to make anything too long. There's a lot of really long tutorial videos out there, but you don't need that. You just want to see the goods deliver the product. So that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below with anything you think might look cool in super, super ultra slow-mo, because I'd love to get some suggestions for things to hunt out. I have a few ideas, but the more the merrier. So that's it for me. Like, subscribe, comment, go check out all my other music, and have a good rest of your day.